Oh, hello, Bob. How are you? I'm well. Water? Water. You do it. Well, <laughs> I just thought I'd get in the zone. It is water week after all. Oh, hi. Welcome to the Great Bible Bake Off. It's week four, water week. Oh, week four already. When do I get paid? I'm aiming for the win this week after last week's disastrous fish paste situation. Now, I know a thing or two about water, being that I made 60% of water. Bakers, welcome back to the tent. For your water themed signature, we would like you to create a bake that's inspired by the woman at the well. And to make it interesting, we'd like you to build some sort of structure and integrate it within the beak. You have two hours to create something delicious. On your marks. Get set. Beak. Oh, there we go, we're off, right. I got my toolbox with me today. That's how you know they've asked for something difficult. <laughs> John, can I borrow a cup? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, I've, I've got spares, yeah. When Jesus met the woman at the well is one of my favorite passages. I can't wait to see how the bakers turn it into something delicious. John, what does your bake involve this week? Right, so I'm gonna make a blue jelly uh, as some water, and then for my structure, I'm building a well using uh, a cup, some lolly sticks, and lots and lots of PVA glue. It's Jacob's well, and it's where Jesus met a Samaritan woman. Never remember her name. Anyway, Jesus asked for a drink from the well, which was sort of unheard of, really. He shouldn't have been speaking to a Samaritan. Oh yeah, Jews and Samaritans were enemies. I love jelly. I'm looking forward to this one. Do you have enough time for it to set, though? Yeah, that is going to be the challenge. Thank you, John. Jelly? Set? What, what, what do you mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys call it jello, right? And it's... Ah, jello. Peter. What are you attempting? Right, so I'm making living water, right? When Jesus asked the woman for water, uh, I can never remember her name. Uh, but anyway, she wasn't too happy. And then Jesus said, if you knew who I was, you'd be asking me for water. And I'd be giving you living water, a bubbling spring that never runs out. So I'm making a structure out of straws and sticks, right? That's automatically going to pump water around, right? It's going to be bubbling, flowing, and never stopping. I'm going to make my own living water, and then I'm going to cover it with icing. So it's going to be a, a flowing water fountain of a dish. Wait, where would Jesus have got that water from? I, I thought the whole point was he was thirsty and he needed a drink from the well. That's why he asked her for a drink. Right, right. No, he meant the Holy Spirit, but she was confused too. Didn't get him, right? until he told her everything she'd ever done. He knew all the mistakes she'd made, but still chose to talk to her and love her. Wow, what a guy. I'm looking forward to seeing your water feature and I hope it tastes good too. Hey Judas, what are you making today? No, oh, I can't talk right now, Bob. I need time to prepare. Huh? Okay, yeah, I'll leave you to it. So, the uh, the jelly is in the fridge, setting as we speak. I mixed water, sugar, colouring and gelatin to make it. And now I'm onto the structure, starting with sticking lolly sticks right to this cup to make my well. So, let's get this on the way. Okay, this is quite fiddly stuff. I've cut all my bits to size, and now I just have to attach it together using the straws as a pipe system, but they not going in like they should be. Ha ha! Right, got one. Right, I'm going outside. Oh, the things aren't sticking together properly. Oh. Bakers, you have three minutes left. Just three minutes. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can already tell this isn't gonna end well. Build, Peter, build. Right, get those sticks up and, oh. Aha, a puddle. <laughs> Oh gosh, no! Ah. Oh, I'm stuck to it, no! Ah. Oh no! Right, here we are! <laughs> and your time is up! Please step away from your bakes. Okay, Judas! Show me your bake. Here you go. That's just a cup of water. What's the structure element? The cup. Well then what about the bake? Water, I guess. It's not even clear water, is this? Is this clean? Well, I prefer bottled water, but it's like well water would taste. It's from the puddle outside. Oh, no. It was as Dan spat out the water that I realized what I'd done. 
I forgot to add the icing. I'd forgotten the baking part. It's a baking show and I'd forgotten to provide any actual food. I got so caught up in the structure making. Peter, show us what you've made. Right, well, it's a, uh, it's a water pumping system, but it doesn't really work. And uh, also, uh, I don't know how to say this. I've forgotten to add my bake to it. So you made me a crummy structure that didn't work and no food either. Unfortunately, yes. It's so embarrassing. One good week last week and it's all undone with my worst one yet. John, I hope you actually made me something decent. <laughs> yeah, me too. Here we go. Well, that really is a beautiful well. Let me try some of the jelly though. Oh, it's not really set very well. Let me try it though. Could have done with a little longer in the fridge. Mmm, that's still very nice though. Delicious, well done, John. Poor, phew. Bakers, what a week. And as I'm sure you can tell, as the week goes on, the competition does get tougher. You guys were struggling a bit this week, but you've done really well. Now, I can announce that today's star baker is... He's back on top, it's John. Woohoo! I'm back! <laughs> Quite a disappointing week. None of them were perfect, but at least John actually served me something edible even if it wasn't fully set. 